I want to familiarize myself. Uh. Mm. Diamonds are riches, yeah, are delicious. Can't you spend in your time on me? You've been doing me righteously. Spice and life, that's my time. I like the variety. Can't you spend in your time on me? Why don't you spend all your life with me? Spice and life, that's my time. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new around here and haven't come across me before, my name is Leonie Sheriff, founder and creator of Sensing by Sheriff. I'm also a singer songwriter and musical artist. For those of you who are familiar with this space, welcome back Sensing Squad. It's been a little while since I've been on here. The last time I was on here, I was gearing us up for the release of Venus, which is Sensing by Sheriff's debut fragrance. Ah. Oh. Venus is officially live. We released at the end of May. Venus the Fragrance is now available UK wide and it has been such an exciting time. Um, thank you so much to you guys who have sent in your feedback and who have really enjoyed the fragrance Venus. Um, for those that don't know anything about me or Sensing, uh, I've created Sensing by Sheriff, my fragrance house, which brings together my love for the two art forms I'm very passionate about creating, which is music and fragrance. Um, so music and fragrance come together under my fragrance house of Sensing by Sheriff and creates a harmonious experience whereby the fragrance is inspired by the song. So our fragrance scent story with Venus is inspired by the song Venus, which also went live and was released in oh, end of May. The visuals went live in June. The visuals went live end of June. So yeah, it's a space where we merge music and fragrance together to create an intersensory experience, an escapism, something that can take us out of the mundane, everyday hardships of life. Um, I was inspired to create Sensing during a very turbulent time in my life when I was recovering from major surgery um, and dealing with my reality of living with chronic illness. Um, I am an advocate for chronic illnesses. I myself deal with endometriosis, adenomyosis, fibromyalgia and chronic pain. So when I was recovering from my endometriosis surgery, I found solace in uh, turning to scent, which has always been a love of mine and really indulging in the therapeutic benefits of my essential oils um, and using scent to really self-soothe. Music being my other love and passion was the other thing that I was really um, self-soothing with during that time in creative mode. Um, you can hear all about the origin stories of how I created Sensing in prior videos, which I will link in the description box. But needless to say, this chronic pain journey brought me to create this passion project of mine and this realm and experience which is Sensing where a space is provided for us to connect to our senses in a more positive and joyful way. For anyone that deals with chronic pain or any kind of pain, um, physical health issues, mental health issues, you know, sometimes you can be so in your head with the pain you're experiencing that you can't find a way out. So Sensing was created to inspire reconnecting to our senses in a way that provides joy and pleasure and escapism and allows our imagination to take us to places that can make us feel great and self-soothe. So that's a little bit about Sensing for those that don't know. For those that are regulars around here, thank you for your support. If you haven't yet experienced Venus, go check it out. It's on sale, available UK wide. And if you haven't checked out the song and the music video, go check it out. It's a whole experience. It's a unique experience if you get to spray your Venus and indulge in the visuals and sonics of Venus the song and just really connect to this whole vibe which is feminine energy at its optimum, beauty, escapism, softness, reconnecting back to your feminine essence and just taking fragrance that little step further so that you can really enjoy it through an intersensory experience. So in today's video, I want to introduce you to some summer fragrancing combos, which I think are amazing. Um, they are three picks I've selected for layering combinations that layer particularly beautifully with Venus and create an amazing solar summer vibe. Before I get right into it, um, I wanted to highlight some 
Perfumery Insights. As a perfumer who's quite early on in her journey, um, for the most part self-taught, I thought it'd be nice to share some insights and facts about the industry that some people may not know. Um, the first thing is about perfumers. If you are a fragrance enthusiast, you may well probably know this already, but I've come to realise quite a lot of people don't and didn't actually know this um, from some conversations I've been having over the past few months with people about my brand and about perfumery a lot of people didn't know this so I thought I'd speak a little bit about it today when you buy your perfumes whether that's a designer perfume uh, a perfume from a niche perfumery brand a celebrity perfume a high street retail stores bespoke perfume fragrance what I've realised a lot of people didn't realise is that these perfumes are actually created by perfumers who are the noses behind the fragrances you smell. They're not created by the designers or in many cases the fragrance house. Um, the cases in which they are mainly created by the fragrance houses are when these fragrances come from niche, artisan, independent fragrance houses which are a lot smaller, um, which are completely different to dealing with bigger brands. Um, oftentimes a niche indie fragrance house has one perfumer um, and it's normally the founder or creator so in the case of Sensing by Sheriff I am the perfumer I create the fragrances I compose the fragrances from my lab at home um, with these larger brand fragrances they are created by perfumers so in normal cases a brand uh, will approach uh, one of the huge fragrance houses, namely uh, Fermé Niche or Givaudin or Simrise or IFF. They have their own in-house master perfumers who will then deal with briefs from a client um, and oftentimes create uh, a fragrance for that brand or client. And the brand will not know what ingredients are in the fragrance. Um, fragrance compositions are intellectual property they are kept secret for obvious reasons so like any form of art intellectual property has to be safeguarded and protected so this is another reason why when you look on your perfume bottle and the box at the back of the box a lot of the time all you'll really see is uh, three main ingredients being parfum, dinat which is perfumer's alcohol and aqua which is a, a small proportion of water, uh, deionized or distilled water, which goes into the fragrance. And then there'll be a few ingredients that you'll see which are listed because they have to be declared for allergen purposes. IFRA is a governing body which ensures the safety of raw materials that go into all fragrancing and skin products and cosmetics. So IFRA stands for, I think it's the International Fragrance regulations association uh, but it is the governing body that ensures the safety of these products so the allergens which can naturally occur from certain raw materials and molecules have to be stated on the ingredients but you'll never see the full formula because obviously that is intellectual property that has to be kept secret so this brings me on to my other point ingredients are ingredients they are the actual molecules, raw materials and constituents which go into formulating the composition of the fragrance. Notes are something that we as perfume lovers and consumers uh, see most often times when a new fragrance is released. We can go on Fragrantica and look up the fragrance notes. Um, but notes are not necessarily the ingredients that go into your perfume. Notes are not intended to help you deconstruct the ingredients that are in a fragrance. Notes are intended to create an olfactive illusion. They are the perfumer's kind of artistic expression of the impression it intends for its wearer to experience upon smelling the fragrance. So think of the notes as something which is intended to inspire your imagination when you experience a fragrance. This is also why sometimes when you look at the notes of a fragrance, you might smell or pick up an olfactive impression. So for example, you might be smelling a fragrance and say, oh, I'm sure I can smell vanilla in this. And then you look on the notes and vanilla's not listed. 
the vanilla may actually be within the fragrance there may be some vanillin in the fragrance or a raw material which emulates the scent of vanilla or an accord which is an array of raw materials which harmoniously come together to to create the facet or to create the impression of vanilla um, but it may not be listed in the notes because it may not have been one of the key impressions that the perfumer wanted to emulate to its wearer this also explains why you may sometimes pick up an olfactive impression or a note that's not listed in the notes list. For example, you may smell a, a fragrance and pick up, I don't know, a nuance of watermelon, um, but there's no watermelon listed in the notes. It might be that it's an aquatic, more marine, ozonic type fragrance that has a raw material like cologne which kind of emulates a sea breeze kind of feel, but it has a facet of watermelon in there. But this may be a kind of beachy fragrance that is more wanting to emulate the sea and the kind of oceanic feel. So, you know, perhaps watermelon isn't in the notes. And contrarily, you might see a perfume that has um, notes listed, which you don't pick up. It might say creme brulee in the notes but you don't really smell creme brulee and obviously we haven't extracted creme brulee to put extracts of that into the fragrance it's more than likely an accord that's been created to emulate the feel and impression of a creme brulee type dessert it may be there's some caramel acetate along with some vanillin and other sweet constituents and other balsamic and gourmand type raw materials and molecules that have been blended together to create an accord which gives off a feel of creme brulee so all that to say notes are intended to inspire your imagination um and I love the concept of notes. It works beautifully with the ideology of sensing. You know, allow your imagination to take you away and escape from the mundane and be creative. Perfumery and scent is a very individual experience. One person might pick up one facet or one note or one vibe and somebody might pick up something completely different. And that's the beauty of fragrance. It's something to be enjoyed. It's not, I think sometimes online you can see and debate over whether something smells like this that or the third and really i just encourage that let fragrance be something that is a unique experience for you take what you get out of it at the end of the day fragrance is connected to memory and nostalgia and we're all going to have very different experiences of that and that's the beauty of it that's why some fragrances may connect more with one person than another and so on and so forth so those are the two things i kind of wanted to um, give a little bit of insight to for those that may not have realized that or known about that it's worthwhile to mention that obviously there are a lot of materials that are listed in the notes that have gone into the fragrance um but not necessarily in the way that you might imagine so sometimes rose is a very common note that's listed in fragrances but rose absolute is a very expensive material so oftentimes a uh, rose accord will be created from different constituents that come from rose um, there are different raw materials that uh, actually come from rose oil an array of raw materials that can be used to create a rose accord they may combine naturals isolates and aroma chemicals synthetics whatever is needed to create that that realistic feel of rose and things like oak moss for example oak moss is a restricted material it's something that's been banned by the ifra so we use a synthetic version called evanil um, which has still characteristics of oak moss and constituents of it but it isn't you know as harmful as the natural full material so so with what's just been said about both perfumers and notes, today I want to highlight three fragrances that are by one perfumer. Today's three solar summer fragrances that I want to highlight that blend beautifully with Venus. The nose behind these fragrances is one of my favourite perfumers. His name is Olivier Cresp. Olivier Cresp is a master perfumer. He's the nose behind so many well-known fragrances. He created Angel by Thierry Mugler. He created uh, DNG Light Blue, various other fragrances. I mean, Angel was one of the first gourmand fragrances ever. So he's kind of known as the father of gourmands. He is also one of the four perfumers behind the fragrance Black Opium by YSL. Like he is one of my favorite perfumers. So the three fragrances we're gonna mention today are all by him. And as I said, they are solar fragrances. Again, solar fragrances are considered 
fragrances which feel like sunshine. They remind you of the sun, they're summery, they're warm, they're uplifting. They could be exotic, they could be warm and ambery, they could be citrusy, they could be anything that feels just summery vibes, sea breeze type fragrances. Again, this is very open to interpretation depending on the person's personal experience. So the fragrances I've selected today are my impression of solar um and they are fragrances that i love with venus so we have a recently new designer fragrance dng we have another relatively new fragrance by a niche perfumery house the house of kayali and we also have it's not a vintage fragrance it is actually a vintage fragrance i think it was first created back in the 80s but it was reformularized in 2006 by olivier and this fragrance is a fragrance i used to wear a good decade and a half ago i mentioned it in a previous video it was my pretty girl scent and this fragrance is called nina let's dive in first fragrance we're highlighting is devotion by dng look at that gorgeous bottle and of course we're going to layer with venus so let's first spray venus on a scent strip obviously i know this fragrance inside out because i created it but i want to familiarize myself oh. the notes for venus these are the notes Bergamot, pink pepper and coconut cream in the top gives a really energising, revitalising opening, fresh, exotic, revitalising. Then we move into a heart of Chantilly cream, jasmine, sweet floral accord, maraschino cherry, marzipan, sweet almond and powdery musks. I must say the marzipan, sweet almond and powdery musks are at the kind of base of the mid um, for me. And the maraschino cherry is like a nuanced note, but I really get a floral, a sweet kind of creamy floral from the Chantilly cream and the jasmine. That's what these notes kind of say to me in, in the midsection of this fragrance. The base notes are vanilla Turkish rose, creme de cacao, woody amber, amber and labdanum. So we get more of the kind of amber woodiness in the base and the powdery kind of musk also with the kind of vintage vanilla feel. But really the fragrance is cohesively soft, gentle, powdery, floral. It's got edible nuances to it. It's very feminine and... Oh. You just have to try it you have to try it for yourself so i'm now going to actually spray devotion now i'm actually going to layer on my skin so i'm going to start with devotion it's also very important when you're testing a fragrance to test it on your skin because skin chemistry really can change the way a fragrance sits on various different people Oh, God. Okay, that's sublime. So the notes of devotion, this combination just takes me to summer. It's just gorgeous. So let me just take you through the notes of devotion. The notes of devotion are candied lemons, panna cotta, orange blossom, rum, and vanilla. Oh. It feels like... It kind of reminds me of what I would imagine an alfresco dessert experience on the Amalfi Coast in Italy would smell like. It's oh, it's beautiful. So we have the zesty kind of lemony fragrance in the opening. Candied lemons is giving more of a sugary lemon. Um, a sweet kind of, it's giving me like traditional lemonade sugary sweet lemon but also there's a rum nuance um we obviously have bergamot in the opening of venus with the pink pepper i get a kind of combination of the pink pepper the coconut and the candy lemons and i can definitely pick up that rum there is the nuance of creme de cacao in venus also so we've got a nice kind of boozy air veil of booze flowing through this fragrance um the vanilla is most definitely there. It's given like a kind of cream, a vanilla cream, a whipped vanilla cream, a heavy whipped vanilla cream. Um, 
and the floral, the orange blossom with the kind of jasmine within Venus. Um, just a kind of floral, beautiful garden. I could imagine like a lemon meringue pie with a rum cocktail garnished with maraschino cherries. Oh, a squeeze of lemon and a dollop of whipped cream on a hot summer's day on the Amalfi Coast in Italy. Oh, that's what it's giving me. Beautiful summer fragrance. It's so bright, uplifting and revitalizing. It just, it just feels, it just makes you smile. It makes me smile. It's like beautiful, beautiful combination. Devotion and Venus out of this world. Second combination is Yum Pistachio by Kayali. This fragrance was created by Olivier Cresp and his son. Again, another gourmand scent. All these scents, by the way, are gourmand. Um, let's have a spritz of Kayali. I've loved this fragrance for a while. I personally think that this fragrance is a great example of notes being open to interpretation. I think when this fragrance first came out, we saw that the notes were very edible notes. Things like pistachio gelato, ice cream, rum, hazelnuts, cacao, marshmallow, whipped cream, cotton candy, Turkish delight, cedar, raspberry, white peach, jasmine, lily of the valley, like so many notes, but mainly the gourmand notes. I think a lot of people are expecting a very sticky kind of heavy gourmand fragrance. Um, and in my opinion, Yum Pistachio Gelato is quite a fresh, it opens as kind of like quite a fresh fragrance, um, clean, and I get a powderiness. Um, so I think what Sebastian and Olivier have created here is a, a quite different kind of gourmand, not your typical, like, it's not like a typical foodie gourmand. It is still a gourmand. It's still gourmand in that you can pick up the for me i can pick up the foodie notes i can pick up the hazelnut the pistachio the the whipped cream i get a kind of cotton candy nuance but really i pick up a clean fresh powdery woody fragrance some might say a little bit soapy but that's because you could imagine washing in this and feeling up that kind of fresh clean smell you get after washing in a shower gel it could give that kind of soapy after clean effect now when we combine this with venus oh that's amazing but we've got to get some on the skin <laughs> let's go further up the arm so venus and yum Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm getting a fresh lemony bergamot opening. Obviously with the bergamot in Venus and the bergamot in Yum, you definitely get like a fresh kind of summery trail, citrusy summery feel. The nuttiness comes through. We have the pistachio and hazelnut from Yum combined with the almond nuances of Venus. The almond in Venus isn't really so much of a nutty almond. It's more of a marzipan kind of, um, I feel like a dessert like sweetness, but these come together to create a beautiful kind of nutty undertone. There's a warm powdery musk, which I think obviously comes from both the Venus and the yum. There's a musk and a powderiness, um, a light kind of dusting, icing sugar kind of feel. It does feel very floral as well jasmine and a bit of a white floral feel which is very summery it feels very kind of heady and decadent like being in a in a flower garden in france somewhere it also makes you feel fresh and clean so with the summer sticky heat this kind of gives an air of freshness it makes you feel clean put together I feel like it could be a great scent to wear after the gym or just to revitalize first thing in the morning before you start your day just amazing an amazing summer day scent for me it's fluffy and pillowy you know it's got this kind of soft gentleness to it but i think yum with venus is super special um both fragrances are exalted 
when they come together. It feels like it could be a Turkish delight that's mixed with lemon, pistachio and sweet maraschino cherries for me. Like a blended jelly, lacon. Love that. Yum and Venus together. Lush. Final fragrance combination is going to be Nina with Venus. How cute is this bottle, by the way? <laughs> it's just adorable. Um, I had several bottles of these in my younger days. Um, Nina. Just from the look of it alone, we can see we're expecting somewhat of an apple scent. Let's get this straight on the skin. Oh, the nostalgia. This fragrance is so nostalgic. It just reminds me of like over a decade ago when I used to absolutely rinse this fragrance. <laughs> it's so nice. It's an apple fragrance, but I don't initially get apple when I first smell this. I get, I get a lemon lime, a bit of a pear and like pink flowers, peony. I also get rose and then I smell a little bit of a Granny Smith apple coming through, which is in the notes. So the notes for this fragrance are Amalfi lemon, lime, Granny Smith apple, praline, peony, Detura, apple tree, musk and Virginia cedar. I actually start to get this Granny Smith apple note come through after a little while. It's a little bit green. Yeah. I pick up certain um I pick up certain raw materials in this like I actually feel like I'm picking up some raw materials from this from a more perfumer's nose. Um I feel like I'm getting a cis three hexanol, which is kind of which is like a green, freshly cut grass floral nuance. But yeah, beautiful. It just smells like an orchid garden. It's got a woody undertone. Let's layer up with Venus now. Oh, oh beautiful okay so we get a musky creamy orchid garden <laughs> floral bouquet i get some earthy woods as well i'm getting a little bit of the sandalwood um which is not actually listed in the venus notes but there is a, an, a, a touch of an accord in there with sandalwood um which creeps into the woody amber undertones i'm getting amber a little bit of a sandalwood Obviously, there's Virginian cedar in the notes of Nina. It's amazing. It kind of gives that apple tree vibe because you get the wood. You get a kind of woodiness, kind of fresh apple -y pear, um, fruity facet. And then you get this lime and lemon and bergamot citrusy zest um, with soft petal like flowers and a creamy musk. Vanilla creamy musk. When I added the Venus to this, it gives a creaminess, a kind of almondy, creamy vanilla musk, powdery feel. It's beautiful. It's given floral, powdery, musky, woody, fruity, zesty. It's given English country garden, picnic with apples, pears, traditional lemonade, vanilla ice cream with like caramel caramel almond syrup drizzled on that kind of feel yeah it's beautiful i love this combination for a summer evening i feel like it's actually quite sensual and sexy as well you know each one of these solar gourmand combinations are to die for we have the candied lemon layering combo with venus from the devotion dng the pistachio gelato layering combo with venus from the yum pistachio and the final combination of Nina being an apple orchid citrus floral combination with Venus. Each one is so solar summer vibes. Those are three solar summer fragrance layering combos, which I feel go beautifully with Venus. Um, they each give something quite unique and very bright and uplifting and very summery. So I'd encourage you to give them a try. And if you've tried any other layering combos with Venus, please drop them in the comments below. I'd love to know what kind of things you're trying out. I always say Venus is an amazing layering fragrance, but it's also fantastic on its own. To me, it's the ultimate summer fragrance. I've been wearing this all season. I mean, I wear it summer, winter, 
autumn, spring. So if you haven't tried it yet, visit Sensing by Sheriff and go get your nose on this. We have a summer sale at the moment, so now's an amazing time to go and try out Venus for yourself. Thank you for tuning into today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something new or maybe um, feel inspired to try something new with your fragrance layering for the summer vibes. I look forward to seeing you guys in a new video and giving you some new updates with what we have coming from Sensin. So until then guys, enjoy the sun. Happy fragrance layering. Let me know what you guys have been layering with. Any scents, all scents that you've been trying. I'm just so intrigued to know. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye. I can never be the 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 never be